modeling right now. So to start modeling, I am going to let you follow me in the project I first did for 3D modeling, which I think allowed you to be very creative and you know it's pretty fun to do. I'm going to show you how to make a spaceship. I very much encourage you to not make it like I do, make it the way you want it to look. But I will show you some basics first. So you can press tab with your mouse in the 3D editing space, or you can click on this down here and go to edit mode, same thing. Just tab goes from object to edit mode. Within uh, edit mode here, over here in uh, this mass selection of tools, see what do they call this? This is the properties menu. Go to this little wrench here, which is your modifiers, hit add modifier, go to mirror, and let's select clipping. So now as we drag this, I think I dragged that in the wrong direction, there it is. As I drag it out, it will actually mirror across the x-axis what I'm doing. And the thing about clipping is that made it so it will never separate in the middle. And that's your basic way to get started on most anything you model, because most things you model are going to be generally symmetrical. And so when you do the general shape of things, it's easy to model only one half of the side than the other. So now that we've got this here, do not click apply yet. You don't do that until you're completely done. I'm going to press A to deselect things. If you press A, it selects everything, although being in edit mode right now, it is only selecting the cube. If I were back in object mode and I press A, it would select the lamp and the camera along with the cube. So I'm going to deselect this and introduce to you down here these three little guys. Here you have the vertices selector. When you click on it, you will notice the little dots appear on the vertices. You can right click them to select them and it selects them one at a time allowing you to move them individually as you wish. Then one next to it is the edge selector allowing you to grab two vertices at the same time which is a full edge. And then here's the face editor and that editor the face selector which allows you to grab four at the same time. Sometimes three but in, in 3D animation you usually want to keep it to squares. Those triangles are a little weird for some things that happen. So, to show you the basics of making our spaceship, I need to introduce to you one more shortcut key. And if you're taking notes of this, which is a great idea, actually, I'm starting my own little notebook to, for reference purposes, because there's going to be a lot that I'm going to be doing. So, the uh, shortcut I'm telling you here is also in the D form over here, which is ed edge slide or edge loop. I don't like clicking on it over there, it's too complicated. With your mouse over the object you're wanting to select, you hit Control R. You'll see this little purple square has popped up within the object, and as I move it around, I can choose where it is going to be selecting on the object. Let's say I want it to go this way. And click just like that. Or what I can do is say click and actually drag this back and forth to get it where I want. I believe you can press the space bar. Nope, that didn't work. There is some sort of button that puts it back in the middle. I believe would be okay I don't remember so you can go ahead and do that and click there to get it in the middle and you have now bisected what you are editing another thing you can do is when the purple square is up you can scroll up on the mouse and make several bisections of course I don't think it would be called a bisection this would be like a trisecting and then quadsecting and then pentsecting Hexing, hexing, septing, oct octo septing. Anyway, you can do a lot of these. Why you would want to do so many, 
I uh, do not know. We only want one for the purposes that we're using. Well, sometimes two and one that would be good. I'm just babbling. So, with this area uh, bisected, I can go ahead and grab, say, this face and introduce to you the next very important shortcut key in Blender is the letter E for extrude. You can hit E and then pull it out, make more. Always very helpful. You can actually go inside the object too. So I'm going to make my spaceship longer. Just like that. I could have scaled it. Would have been probably better. Now nah, that I'd have to undo everything. And so once you have uh, extruded, you can also grab, rotate, and scale. So what happens if I do rotate? Mix this. Yeah, let's go with that. Be as creative as you wish while doing this. So let's make a back. Pull this out. Possibly scale it down. Move this up. About like that. Then just continue to add edge loops where you feel needed. I'll grab that one right there. Grab this. Pull this out. Make this small. I said small, not big. Start out here. Small. Just like that. Go up, down. I liked it in the center. Going to bisect the spaceship. No, I'm not going to bisect the spaceship. Grab this face up here. Extrude this out. Make it small. Pull it out this way. Maybe like rotate it or something. Let's come up to the nose of my spaceship. Uh, bisect it here. Up there. And then here. Grab the face selector, grab this, and let's pull this in. And then rotate. No, I did not want that. There we go. Rotate that for some sort of crazy windshield looking thing. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm going to shoot this out a bit. Make it small. There we go. Let's see, I'm going to select the windshield again and make it smaller. It was, it's still protruding out right there. If I want to fix that, I can go ahead and grab this vertice selector and you know, just push that in. Just like that. Go back to face selector and let's go on the back here. And let's say I grab. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's do extrude scale. I'll go to just like that. And then push this inwards, and I now have little turbines in the back. What else do I want to do? Wings! Why not? Bisect the spaceship along the horizontal axis. Move up just slightly. Do it again. Nope, not right there. Right about there. Go ahead and grab the face selector again. Grab this one. Extend it out. Grab this. Pull it down. Let's uh, extrude this. Yeah. To make it smaller. That's looking pretty sweet. What else do we want to add? I want to actually grab this section here, pull this up slightly, and I'm loving the nose on this thing, that's pretty awesome. So we got a simple spaceship here, I hope yours is looking as awesome as mine is. Let's make it so that the spaceship can actually fold up if it were wanting to. So, you know. No, nah, that's too ugly. But if this section wants to do fold over, it's available. Let's see, let's add some turbines. 
you can be as creative as you want, make it as decorative as you want. Seriously, have fun with it. I mean, it's your creation. You don't have to go to the store and like buy clay like I do for some of my other creations. You can just make as much as you want, however you want, when you want. Making some turbines here. To the back here and scale it up. And then extrude, scale. And extrude again. Hold off back there. Something like that. Now I got these sweet fan looking turbines. Oh yeah. But you know what else it needs? I think it need I think it needs some dog fighting machine guns on the front. I don't care if bullets do not work in space. Mine will. Because it's my spaceship. Well, this way. Just keep adding edge loops where you need them. Let me grab this section here. Actually, I'm going to grab both these sections by holding down shift. Extrude that inwards. Grab this one and pull it back out. This is going to be the base of my gun here. Okay, before I do that. Then extrude the out. So we're going to move it in this way. Let's make that small. And let's give some more detail on these guns. They don't need to be dumb little squares. I'll grab this here. Scale this down. Grab this back here. Scale this one two up. Looked kind of neat, but now it's not my style. Pew -pew, look at that. This here, do, 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 do. extrude inwards slightly, scale down. Got some neat little gun looking things there. What else might we want? Hmm. I think my spaceship is nearing completion. Landing gear, possibly? No, it, it'll be. Something that hovers. I'm gonna grab this one and this one. Scale it like this. Straight in. And scale it down. And those will be my little hover panels. And now what I can do, now that I'm done, is press tab and go back into object mode and take a look at my masterpiece. We still don't have to hit apply over here. I don't think we ever really need to. There's our spaceship. Coloring the spaceship is uh, kind of complicated, and we do not need to worry about that right now. Let's see. I guess I can show you a way, but you can't be nearly accurate enough, and you won't even really be able to see it, so let's not do that right now. So, there's a spaceship. I can grab it, move it, scale it randomly if I want, like lard. That is kind of cool, but no. And so, to wrap up the ending of how to model within Blender, I am going to show you how to do a simple animation with it, such as the spaceship.